Since 2002, over 5,000 Canadian Forces soldiers, sailors, and aircrew have deployed on missions to Afghanistan. Every single one of these dedicated men and women chose their career knowing full well the dangers that awaited them. Each day, they awake and willingly face the stark reality that unknown enemy threats exist, enemies devoted to harming them. If you ask why they freely and knowingly put themselves in harm's way, they'll tell you that they believe there's something more important at stake. There are innocent people in our world who have no one to help them, no one to turn to. Our Canadian troops choose to protect them. I got my idea for the mural. Uh, for a couple of years, I was looking into how, as a kinsman, how I could tap into the military. But on December 6, 2008, I seen the article in the front of the paper with um, 100 Canadian soldiers now have died in Afghanistan. And it kind of hit home when I hear of another death that, uh, very emotional. I'm, oh, right away I feel that I shouldn't be at home watching TV if, uh, if that's where I see it or if I hear it going somewhere and uh, I feel that I'm letting him down. So I rush back to my studio and try to get painting again because I know it's just, it's a war that's gonna go on for a while. Uh, when I first started, it was a painting but it didn't take long became it and before it came, uh, like I've heard many a time, um, a work of love. My son Mark, he was a, uh, a self-driven individual. He wanted to be somewhere. He wanted to end up at the top of the army leading it. And by signing up for the mission in Afghanistan. He felt he was achieving and working towards that goal and at the same time doing something good for some other people. There is no getting over it. There is no end. Um, I don't know if there is coping. He knows I'm proud of him. We had that special talk before he went away this last time. Mark, you made a difference. Just like you did with everything else you touched. Really bothers me because you feel, oh my God, there's another one. You know, we're uh, up to 151 right now and it just, uh, it's, it's sad. It just uh, really gets to me now. The day started out pretty normal. I went to work about 10 o'clock in the morning. I just got very, very upset for some reason and broke into tears. But I finished the day out. And when I got home, that is when uh, the military showed up at my door shortly after. One thing that we're all afraid of is that the years go by and they get forgotten. This mural means that none of our fallen are going to be forgotten, that they're always going to be remembered through generations for the sacrifice that they made. I am extremely proud of them, and I miss them. And uh, he'll always be my heart. When you look into someone's eyes, you you start feeling a little bit how they um, how they were. You could see if there was a glimmer of smile, uh, sadness, or or. But that's how I usually start my pictures. Right now, I'm probably their best friend. You know, I just um, I know them. Well, most of them on a first name basis. Has it become an obsession? Yes, definitely. We were planting peonies in our making garden in our front yard. And I saw a vehicle go past, turn around, and went past again and parked. And I saw a Navy uniform get out of a car, and then another one. And when the third one, and then the fourth one, oh, I knew it was bad.
So this is hopefully going to be um, a tribute, a memorial, a place for people to connect to communities and to help families. For, for not just the fallen soldiers, but for the wounded soldiers. Where do they have a, where, where's the place for them? They, they seem to be lost. The day that Craig died, there was two other soldiers that were hurt. One was able to go back into the field and the other boy has had extensive injuries and he's not, where's his place to go? If I could say something to him, it would be the mom thing. I love you. I wish we could have had more time. We'll see ya. So many of our brave men and women have deployed. Thousands of wives, husbands, partners, parents, and children have remained at home, worried, hopeful, resilient. Many of our brave troops have returned physically injured. Thousands more will return to suffer the emotional stress of combat for years to come. Many will not come home alive. Our Canadian troops have made the choice to protect and care for those who needed their help. Now it's time for Canadians to make a choice to protect and care for our military members and their families who now need our help. Nothing that you could do to bring them back, so the only thing you can do is just that uh, I hope by um, the kinsmen would come up with a, a great idea that we could raise money to not only honor them, but help keep the other ones safe and keep their families um, taken care of. Starting on June 1st, 2011, the Portraits of Honor National Tour will bring Canadians together to pay tribute, to remember, to heal, and to raise necessary funding for our military families and our injured troops. We will never forget. All gave some. Some gave all. What will you give?